Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis and how do we know what stage of autoimmunity that we are in when we have hypothyroid related to Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Now, behind me, we have three phases. Oftentimes, when patients come in, there are, they already know that they have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. They're already in the inflamed state, their TSH is off, or they've been diagnosed with, by their uh, physician, okay? So when we look at patients, we have to look at it in terms of different stages, because if we can catch things early on, the outcome can be much better. So let's look at it. We have stage one, when someone comes in, and they have what they call silent autoimmunity, right? What that means is that they have antibodies to their thyroid. They have their TPO and thyroglobulin antibodies that are positive, yet they have no symptoms and they have no loss of thyroid tissue, right? So the labs come back normal. Everything's normal except they have an elevation of thyroid antibodies, yet it's silent. Second stage is when they come in, they have autoimmune reactivity. What that means is they have elevated thyroid antibodies, but they have symptoms. Symptoms of hair loss, brittle hair, constipation, fatigue, um, uh, cold intolerance, etc. right? They have symptoms. But when they check their TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, is normal. If TSH is normal in the medical model, there's nothing to do, right? Yet they are experiencing symptoms and they have elevation of their TPO and thyroglobin antibodies, right? So that is called autoimmune reactivity. Now what happens is you have autoimmune disease, stage three. In that stage, you have elevation of TPO and or thyroglobin antibodies. You have symptoms, hair loss, constipation, weight gain, etc. You have measurable tissue destruction, right? Your thyroid is inflamed. It's tender to touch. There's destruction happening of the thyroid gland. And the elevated TSH, right? Now, here we go. TSH is normal. TSH is normal elevated TSH. This is when the conventional medical model will intervene. They will say, oh, the TSH is elevated and you need thyroid hormones, right? To bring the TSH down. By this time, tissue destruction is already occurring. Right? So when patients come in, oftentimes they're kind of in this stage, right? But what we like to do with those patients is if they have children or sisters or you know, family um, um, or relatives that are close to them, is to say, have them check for TPO antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies. And the reason is they might have silent autoimmunity going on and they've, they have not reached this stage yet. But if you can catch a patient early on in stage one, there are a lot of lifestyle and nutritional management interventions that can be um, uh, used to help keep the autoimmunity in, in the silent stage. As we start to progress, it becomes more difficult. So if someone has elevated TSH, they might have been diagnosed five, 10 years ago, they are on thyroid hormone thyroid replacement hormone, right? And the tissue destruction continues to happen because this is an autoimmune disease and they have elevation of TPO and thyroglobulin antibodies. So they will never or possibly never get off the thyroid medications, right? But there's also interventions you can do in this third stage of autoimmunity, right? So it's very important decipher where we are in the three stages of autoimmunity for Hashimoto's thyroiditis and make your interventions early on rather than waiting for the TSH to be elevated to be diagnosed or treated.
right? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.